Welcome back to The Arise interview. I'm Charles Anyagulu. Now, you may have heard about a conspiracy theory on the coronavirus that's been doing the rounds in Nigeria and around the world. Basically, it goes like this. The virus has been spreading either because it's being transmitted via new 5G phone masts or because those 5G signals are suppressing people's immune systems. It may sound absurd to many, but not for some people who've been sharing it widely on social media or even in some cases setting fire to phone masts. It's happened in the UK and the culture minister there wants social media firms to clamp down on posts propagating these conspiracy theories. So are these theories complete rubbish or are there credible studies that support such ideas? Well, for more on this, let's speak now to Mr. Wale Abu, CEO, Pan African Towers, a company responsible for the installation of mobile network towers in Africa. Thank you very much indeed for coming in and joining us. First of all, how do these theories go exactly? Because it seems they started off with commentators in the U.S. remarking that Africa is an area of the world completely lacking 5G and noting that very few people in Africa had been diagnosed with COVID-19. Uh, thank you, Charles. I think uh, there's really no correlation between where 5G has been deployed and the coronavirus pandemic spread and uh, the maps show it. There are certain places in Africa that have 5G, Lesotho, for example, and they don't have a, a single case of coronavirus. And there are certain countries where you've got 5G and it's not correlated with the number of uh, coronavirus cases. I think it's uh, born out of fear, ignorance, misinformation, and that's why I'm happy to be here to clarify um, that it's not so. So if you permit me, I'll just explain that you need to look at basic uh, science. You know, if you have a child at home who is a science student in senior secondary school, you can sit with him and just look at his biology note, his physics note, and his chemistry note. And on that, if you put those three together, you understand the difference between a biological organism and a radio wave. So a coronavirus is nothing new. They've been around. This is just a novel coronavirus, so it's new. It's, um, it was first discovered in certain people in Wuhan, China, and it's been checked in the lab. It has its own DNA signature, which means it's a unique organism. It's not a mutation. So it is a virus. It causes the COVID-19 uh, disease, and there's a test for it. So it is very clear. Every epidemiologist, every scientist in the world will tell you this. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going cheap. to come in there, um, Mr. Mr. Abu. I'm just going to come in because, I mean, correct me if I am wrong, but there have been studies in the past that suggested that radiation from 5G can suppress your immune system. But those studies, as I understand it, have been roundly rejected by most people. Can you tell us about that? Okay, and I'll tell you why they, they should be rejected by everyone. If they tell you that the sun rays today uh, will affect you and reduce your immunity, I'm sure you will laugh and uh, say it's ridiculous. But of course, if you expose yourself too much to the sun, there are cases where people have cancers because of exposure to the sun. So that doesn't make the sun light bad. That's just an isolated case. In the case of uh, 5G, it is a radio wave. We've, radio waves are all around us. And the radio wave that we use in telecommunication has been around for 100 years you use the low frequency part of what is called the electromagnetic spectrum. And everything from visible light downwards, including radio waves, 
are called non-ionizing. It means they don't have enough power to A, damage uh, you, your DNA, which is your cell. It can't affect you biologically. It can't penetrate your skin. That's as simple as that. Whatever you, it's just like light. If you close your eyes, light cannot force itself through your skin. That's how, no matter how powerful light is, light cannot go through you. Same right, thing but, with but let me movies. ask you this. Let, let me just ask you this. On the idea, um, because I mean, you're, you're somebody who installs masts across uh, Africa, and you obviously don't have coronavirus, but on the idea that 5G masts can spread the virus, I mean, I mean that's complete rubbish, is it? It is absolute rubbish. Right. Um, One is physics, the other is biology. They don't, they don't uh, mix. Never, you must well say that the sunlight is spreading coronavirus. Right. Um, but nevertheless, so, in spite... Sorry, finish what you were saying. Okay, so what I'm just saying is that uh, 5G is a radio wave. It's, it's just something, it's just a terminology. But basically, it's just the same thing that you use your telephone for, that you always use your telephone for. It's just that it's a faster speed. So if you were not harmed by 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, even a 100G will not harm you because it is in the spectrum part that is non-ionizing. It cannot harm you. Simple and short. And you can, like I would tell your viewers and people who are watching, sit with your child. This is an opportunity to learn something new and tell him, show me electromagnetic force in your physics textbook. It was taught to me in school. It is being taught today. It wasn't, it's not a new discovery. So physical laws of the universe don't change because something new came up. It is done. So if they tell you acceleration due to gravity today is 9.8, it is a principle of physics. It will never change. So radio waves, of which 5G technology is part of it and all that, will never harm people. People watch to see how these antennas in, um, interact with humanity and co. And there's a body in charge of that called ICNIP. They set out the guidelines. They issue guidelines every year. They've issued out the ones for this year. And in it, you see everything. It's a very dense document. And it's online. People can actually go check ICNIP website, and you see everything. OK, but so, nevertheless, um, um, ne nevertheless, nevertheless, in spite of the fact that they've been scientifically debunked as either garbage or, you know, rubbish. I mean, these things are out there and they do take hold in some quarters, which I guess is why mm -hmm. people are worried about it. You're, you're perfectly right, which is why uh, I think the enlightenment that you're doing now is really important. I've had to uh, enlighten my family and friends about 5G because, of course, not everybody is in the technology field. So when something is new and you also have this pandemic, all kinds of conspiracy theories come up. And it is uh, what it is. It is just a conspiracy theory. There is no link. There are epidemiologists. There are radio frequency engineers. There are all kinds of people who are in the world who work in these fields. And none of them will make this type of... Uh, um, conclusion, we we'll draw this kind of conclusion. There have been studies, because this is not the first time, I mean, they've said it causes cancer, it reduces immunity, they've been saying all these things, and the World Health Organization is also on their website, has issued uh, several communication along these lines that it does not cause cancer, it does not suppress immunity. But People just keep coming up with things like this. And it's our duty to keep educating people and telling them that, yes, you have a right to question. You can ask and get enlightened. But there's nobody out there. We also have families. I have children. I have parents. I cannot be putting something that will kill me. We've got staff. I don't think anybody will go and install 
something in his own backyard when he knows he's going to kill him. Well, you've it's, made it's the point the, the, the entire very eloquently, uh, and we appreciate the time that you've taken to explain it to us. Mr. Wale Abu is CEO of Pan African Towers, a company responsible for the installation of mobile network, tow network towers in Africa. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. That's it for this edition of The Arise Interview. Join us again tomorrow. From me and the entire team here in Abuja and Lagos, bye-bye and thank you for watching.